Welcome to Answerland, the Chubster Reader Q&A feature. If you have questions, you can ask us by hitting us up on social at Chubster, just tag us and ask your question, or you can go to chubster.com and contact us through the site, ask your question, and we just might answer it in a future video. This week, we're talking about shirt gaps. J.M. Brunson says, the issue I'm having is that my dress shirts fit and look great when I'm standing, but when I sit, there's a bulge between my buttons revealing my undershirt. Do you have any suggestions? First off, there's a great thing that you can do that's very easy, and it has to do with your undershirts. So most undershirts that we get, white basic t-shirts. You're wearing those, if you sit down and you have the shirt gap, you're gonna see it. Get an undershirt that matches the color of your button down. So I can show you an example right here. If you look at this, my undershirt is a pretty good match for this button down. It makes it really easy for me if I sit down and there's a gap, it doesn't show as much. And it's a good way to kind of cover that and take care of that problem. Now, it works really well when you're wearing a solid shirt. If you're not and you have something with a pattern, try to get a color that matches the, uh, the main color of your button down with the pattern and you'll be good to go. It doesn't work perfectly in every situation, but it's better than nothing. So that's definitely something you should look at. So a second solution when the weather is cooler is to actually wear something that covers your button down shirt. So if you're wearing a vest, that will cover your stomach. So when you sit down, you don't have the shirt gap. It's a quick and simple solution, but it works. Another thing, and this is a saving grace for a lot of plus size men's clothing, is to look for things that have stretch. If you get a shirt that has stretch in it, then it's going to move with you a little better and you're going to have less of an issue with these shirt gaps or with something not fitting you quite the way you want it to. So a lot of the clothes that I have now, they have some kind of stretch in them so I can move and I don't get as many of those issues. So that's one thing that you wanna look at and uh, hallelujah, I'm glad that companies are making stretch fabric in basically everything, pants, shirts, all of it. It makes it really easy for us to be able to find something that has a little bit of give and works with different body types. So definitely look for stretch fabric in your clothes. And here's the most important tip. Make sure that you have the right measurements. Make sure that your clothes fit you well. You might be a 1X at one store and a 6X at another store. There's no universal standard for sizing. So any company can say, this is what my 1X is and it doesn't have to be the same as the place that you always shop. So we run into that as an issue and the best way around it is to make sure that you know your measurements. Get your actual measurements. For example, I have a size 53 chest. So I know with my size 53 chest, if I'm looking for a shirt, I can go to a fit guide on a website, look at that and say, hey, okay, this will probably fit me. It's not 100% foolproof, but it's better than nothing. Knowing your measurements means that you are more often than not going to be able to find clothes that are going to fit you. And that covers it. Hopefully that helps you, J.M. Brunson. Good luck. Hope to see you with some shirts that don't have the gaps. If you have questions and you want to reach out, you can hit us up on social at Chubster or go to chubster.com and ask us your question. Be sure to subscribe so you find out about these videos, our new shows, and everything else that we're doing in the future. Thanks.